16 days ago, 12 of the UK's most talented 18 to 21 year olds entered the Big Brother house. But this time round, Big Brother isn't in charge all of the time. Every day, a celebrity hijacker takes control and the housemates have to do whatever they're told. The boxes are now optional. Show me your jazz hands. Woo! Can I get a rewind? Yes, I can. And there's one place the housemates can always talk to Big Brother or their celebrity hijacker. Who would you prefer to meet, me or Russell Brand? <laughs> the diary room. Sunday, day 11, 12.10 p.m. <laughs> Today's celebrity hijacker, Radio 1 DJ Chris Moyles, has turned part of the living area into a pub in preparation for today's task. The pub has a dartboard and chalk for keeping score. Latoya, Victor, Anthony and John are in the living area. Do you want me to get, well, I'll take it one of my shots and get you the four for you. Don't be like that, show me. This Yay. is Big Brother. Would Anthony and John come to the diary room immediately? <laughs> I was waiting for that. Really? Yeah. Why? Why, you got chalky hands and you're over the house. The face Are you not allowed to do that? What do you think? No. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's not funny. <laughs> It's your first strike, innit? Is this a casual visit or are we getting punished? <laughs> what do you think? I think we just, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I think we're in trouble for drawing on the wall. Checking. <laughs> Anthony and John. <laughs> That's a random thing there. It's quite, <laughs> it's quite scary. <laughs> you are reminded that housemates are not permitted to draw or write on the walls of the Big Brother house. Oh, oh, can't we draw pictures or anything? Just to, <clears throat> just to spruce in the place up a little bit. Writing and drawing on the walls of the Big Brother house is not permitted. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you understand? I understand. And I was just... Um... Anthony, Big Brother is not entering into a discussion. OK. Big Brother suggests that you wipe off what you have just written and drawn... No problem. ...on the walls of the Big Brother house. Cool. cool. And then return the chalk to the diary room. Cool. Can do, big brother. Consider uh, it done. John's going. John's gone. I thought I was going to get more trouble now. <laughs> That's a nice picture I'm starting. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was going to work. Look at that. That's quick. Look, that was cool. I was getting right into that. Look. I was just getting started. Oh my on. Six still. Look into my eyes. Did that's just to take the chalk back in the diner then? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> We're coming. Don't have to show. Brother. We're coming. Would John or Anthony return the chalk to the diary room? You didn't get it. Right. I must have should have said I could have returned to apologize. Okay, so we've only got one word for it. We've only got one thing. <laughs> the chalk's here, should we leave it on the floor? That will be fine. <laughs> I hope this doesn't affect our statutory rights. I don't know about him, big brother, but I'm deeply sorry. From the bottom of my heart. Anthony, would that be the bottom of your heart? What did I say? Or oh. halfway up your heart. <laughs> <laughs> we don't quite say bottom, or, or but I'd top. say... No, not the top. We don't quite say bottom, but I'd say about... seven-eighths. Seven-eighths down. Do you think we could draw pictures? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, happy, I'm happy to draw a diagram to express <laughs> how far down the heart it is. 
Anthony Big Brother thinks that more drawing is probably not such a good idea. Two or four p.m. Celebrity hijacker, Radio One DJ Chris Moyles is in the hijack booth. This is Pickfucker. Could Nathan come to the diary room? Did you say Pickfucker? Most of the housemates are in the living area. This is Bigger Brother. Could <laughs> Annie come to the diary room? That'd be Amy. you, Amy. Sorry. <laughs> Right, you can at least get my bloody name right. <laughs> so I can keep her waiting now at the diary room door? Yeah. Wicked. Chris. What? Oh, Chris, All right. Nice. Hello, Amy. Did you call me Annie? Sorry about that. Annie, my ass. You knew my name wasn't Annie. I'm, I, I'm sorry. Big Brother tells me that on Friday night at approximately 7.18pm, you said, I love Chris Moyles. He's amazing. He's so funny. Yes, I think I did say that. Was that... Oh, how embarrassing. Amy, do you listen to the show regularly? Yeah, I do, actually. I started... I stopped listening to it a bit since I went to uni because I don't have a radio there anymore. Bitch. But when, <laughs> when I used to drive to college and school um, before, I used to always listen to it in the morning. And once when I was driving there on the way to college, I was laughing so... I can't remember what the hell you were talking about. But I was laughing so much I had to pull over. Could have been an accident on, on the case. I'm sorry. Good show, though. Thank you. Would you like to meet me for real? Yes. Yeah, who, I would. Who I would you prefer to meet, me or Russell Brand? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, I don't know. You're both quite fit. I like it when people are funny. Keeps me happy. Um, and he's... Russell Brand got me cake and flowers, you see. So... Yeah, but... but what? I can get you cake and flowers. <laughs> but it was really good chocolate cake. Yeah, but, you know, Russell is... unclean. Is he? Yeah. How do you know? I know Russell very well. He's also, it's a, it's a big act, the Russell Brand thing. I don't think, I think you'd be barking up the wrong tree, if you know what I mean. It's all right, he dumped me for Amelia. He said I was a user. I don't I, even know what he was talking about. Without saying too much, I think Russell is the kind of person who would also find Victor attractive. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Go. Oh. Sunday, day 11, 9.24pm. Celebrity hijacker Chris Moyles has been hijacking the house for seven hours and 36 minutes. Chris has been joined in the booth by his Radio 1 producer, Allard. I'm knackered. Jeremy, Nathan and Victor are in the hot tub. I'll be more than happy for John to win, of course. You know, he's a lovely guy, and someone like I think he's him or Anthony deserves to win. They deserve to win. I think, I think it's up yeah, they're, they're, him, like, they're, they're completely like, selfless, those two. I think him and Anthony are... Yeah, but Anthony's a very good looking guy. Yeah, definitely. I think he's good. Honestly, I don't see a girl winning it, but I just wish he'd win close it. Ready? OK, here we go. Most of the housemates are in the living area. Are they? Mm? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Thank you. Wow. Oh, God, I'm pissed again. <laughs> she is... I think she's a bit drunk. Huh? I thought you were. When you ask if I can say a quick goodbye when you leave. Yeah. Promise. Promise. Ah, oh, see, they all want me. I feel like a fat, ugly Russell Brand. <laughs> Hello, Callista. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you disappointed that Chris has left? Yeah, I am. I'm really upset. I really wanted to speak to him. I'm still here. Oh, you got me. <laughs> and I was like, which big brother is this? You know what I'm going to ask, seeing as I'm talking to Chris Moyles. Well, um, just... you, I, I know what you're going to ask. Yeah. Can I predict? Yeah. You'd like to sleep with me. Oh, how did you know? I quite like your teeth. 
Okay, well, I'm pleased that out of the entire body that I have, <laughs> my teeth are the things that Very do nice it for you. you. But really, what I was going to ask you was obviously... Um, you are the man to ask and just a really honest opinion if you have heard because I don't know if you've heard any of my songs or anything though. I haven't heard your songs songs mm. but I think you're very lucky because there are a lot of performers out there who don't write their own stuff mm -hmm. and there are a lot of writers who can't perform and at the moment you have the ability to do both if one goes tits up you've got the other yeah and if both go tits up then I'll be a You're uh, screwed. cool girl. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. I tell you what, if things get that bad, I'll I'll hire you. Oh, thank you. You can fix some come, coffee. Just to come round and, and chat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nothing mucky. 9.36pm. Latoya, Jeremy, Amelia and Victor are by the hot tub. Not just Barbies. Really? Oh, I'd yeah. love to be Barbie. What? You'd love to have huge fake tits? Yeah. And long hair. That's disgusting. So she said, she said a life's ambition is to get big breasts. No, don't get it. You look fantastic. People can die from that. Don't change it, yeah. seriously. Oh, is that even serious? Yeah, be serious. Don't change it, seriously. Jeremy thinks me look fantastic. Yeah, well, she does. Earlier today, celebrity hijacker Chris Moyles set the housemates a pub quiz. John was the winner, and as a reward, Chris gave him a mobile phone with three minutes of call time. John decided to share his call time with Anthony, who spoke to his mum. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's long time. How long have you been there for? Ten days? What day, what day is it? Day 11? And it's going to be over soon. Ready for the jingle, bitch? Could Anthony come Yay! Oh. <laughs> Yay! Oh. Right, let's try and make him cry. In a happy way. In a happy way. How's his mum? Hello. Hello, Anthony. How you doing, mate? All right? I'm great, man. I'm very good. How are you? I'm, yeah, I'm, I, feel, I feel really good at the minute. I feel oh, such a massive high. So and I just rang my mum and said, I really needed that. So he touched me. How close are you to your mum, Anthony? I'm... She's like my favourite person in the whole world. As a family, like me, my mum and my four sisters, we you know, we're really tight, like watertight. And um Yeah, there's nothing nothing more in the world means like more to me than them. I think there'll be a very proud mum somewhere crying for her son with tears of joy. And I bet she's absolutely delighted to speak to you. And I bet she loves you very much and misses you. Cry uh, in the calmness of the diary room, what would you like to say to your mum and the rest of your family? Just hoping that they're OK and everyone's safe and everyone's fine and happy and... Cry your fuck. And hoping, hoping that they miss me as well. Hoping they miss me as much as I miss them. You soppy fucker. <laughs> I wanted you in plums and tears, but you know what? I couldn't do it to you. You're too, you're too much of a top fella. Cheers, thank you. Listen, don't feel upset. Feel very happy you spoke to her. Now, listen, well done. Your mum and your family are proud. Boo fucking who. Get back in the house and have some fun. Cheers, will do. Thank you. And Anthony, mm -hmm. see you in Vegas, dude. Yeah, will do. Definitely. Hopefully, see you before that anyway. You're on. But you'll see me there anyway. Cheers. Thank you. you. Take care, mate. All right, bye, mum. Bye bye. 12.49 a.m. It's been two hours and 44 minutes since Chris Moyle's Celebrity Hijack ended. One hour and two minutes ago, Nathan told Amy he fancied her. Amelia, Amy, Nathan and Jeremy are in the bathroom. Nathan, I'm really shy and embarrassed and I really don't know what to say. Oh, oh gosh. Do you like Amy, Nathan? Out of what? all of the people that you would have said that to, it'd handle these things the worst. Without a shadow of a doubt. That's why I said you. Yeah, like Amy. Me. What? Yeah. Do you think I was, I was making a move on you? I wasn't making a move on you, babe. I, I wanted to do. I wanted to make you aware. Um, I don't even know why I done it. Now. I apologise. Um, because it wasn't like, oh, I have a cross on you, Amy. It wasn't. It wasn't. Honestly, I done it to deflect the attention off me and Latoya, because it's, because it's stressing me out. Are you just not interested at all? No comment. 
Liam, Victor and Latoya are in the bedroom. In the real world, they have all these distractions, like girlfriends, work, money, play, parties or practising, training, you know, everything gets in the way. As in here, I don't have any of these distractions, so it kind of opens up what I don't like, what I do like, what I feel like, what I'm tired, what I, what I want to eat alone, what I want to be alone. You know, it opens up all these other doors, yeah. and that's what I've had to face. Anthony, John, Callista and Jir come to the diary room. Yo, big bro. Hey. How are we, housemates? Yeah, really good. We are. Big brother, can you just tell me if, I'm, if it's okay if I just sort of sit here or something? Yay! Can you see me, big brother? That's great, John. I can see all of you now. Wicked. Cool. What more do you need? Should, oh, should you tell us an emotion and we'll portray it on our faces? Yeah. Let's do it. To warm up. Yeah, to warm up. Let's warm up. And then we're going to sing a song. Because the, the first thing we need to do in this room is warm up. Yeah. Housemates, what emotion are you feeling at the moment? Do you need to tell us? No, we'll you tell it. us an emotion and we'll do it. You've got to get us into a full sense of Could be anything. Yeah. Could be gleeful. Could be sheepish. petrified, sheepish, fragmented. Maybe if you express an emotion, Big Brother will guess your emotion. Oh. 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 oh let's confirm. Let's confirm. Okay, okay. okay, ready? Out to three. One, two, three. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, oh shit. Look. <laughs> Big Brother thinks you may be pensive. Yeah! Oh. yeah. Well Big Brother, done. you're good, you're good. That was David. Okay, <laughs> 2 13 a.m. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Nathan is describing Anthony and Callista's relationship. There's a scale, yeah? Like, it starts with like hate. Hate's at that side, love's at that side, yeah? And then there's despise, I'd say, and then, you know, can't stand, and then can stand, tolerate, um, like, and all of that. You're in between like and infatuation. Ooh. Wow, that's Doesn't see that one coming. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't see that one on the scale. How about that? That spice that up, stir it up. Gee! Doom, 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 doom. You're all the way up to infatuation. <laughs> Victor and Jeremy are at the pub. Aye! Wow. Shit. There's been a few balls eyes there today. Most of them? Mine. Amy is in the diary room. Hello, Amy. Hi. I, I, I had a slightly stressful evening. I was wondering if I could talk about it before I went to bed. Of course, Amy. Big Brother's always here for you to talk. OK. Oh. Basically, Nathan said that he had a crush on me. To me. Actually, to me. When, when everyone was there in the beds. And obviously, I thought that Nathan and Latoya were really kind of close and that they were going to sort of... I don't know, go out forever. Well, I was being slightly over-romantic, but we all thought that something was kind of going on and that they both really liked each other. And I know that Latoya really likes Nathan because it's, it's really obvious. I thought that he was sort of taking the mick and then I kind of ignored it a bit. But then when he carried on talking about it and I realised that he wasn't actually joking, I don't think. But Latoya was stood right there and I think that she might have heard because now she's sleeping in the bed that's not next to my bed but the bed away from that. So, not only is Latoya possibly upset if she heard what he said, but also, now I feel like I've made the situation awkward or embarrassing for Nathan. It was a bit traumatic at the time. Because I just didn't know what to say. And it didn't... Oh, I'm just really rubbish at this kind of thing. Tuesday, day 13, 11 or 8 p.m. One hour and five minutes ago, Jay and Latoya staged a fake argument. When they revealed that the argument wasn't real, Victor took offence at what they'd done and had a real argument with Latoya. Victor, Liam, Jeremy, Amelia and Amy are in the bedroom. 
I'm not happy because I didn't want to be involved in their stupid joke, and then I did get involved in their stupid Ooh. joke emotionally, and then I'm the one who's supposed to be the bad guy at the end. If you're going to make a fucking joke, and I get angry at that joke, and just in the middle of it, I don't know it's a joke, I think it's a real situation, and she's like going like, ah, 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 and I'm just like, oh, that's fine, cooler. Fuck off, then fuck it, you know, and then I went away, and I didn't come back to it, did I? And now I she's said, angry because I said, I said that in the middle of the situation. I said, mate, don't get too worked up because you're getting fucked up about it. Your head's going red and shit like that. Just don't get fucked up about it. Practical jokes are not good because when they go too far, it's hard to get back. Do you know what I mean? Literally. And this no, is like, and it's just, if, if you, you say to someone, Mamma mia. are you messing about? I've got no idea if you what's are, going on. Tell me now, because if you don't, I'll be I'll be pissed off because this, this has gone too far. And if they go, no, it's not a fucking joke, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, fuck yeah, off, it's yeah, not exactly, a joke. Exactly, exactly. Jeer, Nathan and Latoya are by the hot tub. Yeah, but Nathan, I've been disrespected for from how many times have you talked to me rudely? Yeah. I'm not an idiot. I know what you mean. I know he what talks you mean. to me rudely all the time. He says, I hate you. I fuck off. He says, and I said, I didn't say to him literally, oh, Victor, fuck off, yeah? I'm not even like, crying out. I'm just upset. I, mm. if I walk in there, I was like, well, it's your fucking fault. And he's like, get the fuck out of the bathroom before I do, what, before I do something. What? For what? Hello, Victor, housemates. Amelia, and Anthony yeah. come to the diary room. Housemates, Big Brother just thought you might like some time to calm down. Yeah, I think yes, that's a wise please. decision. Good decision, Big Brother. I've got respect for everybody. I think, as a neutral person, I get in the thingy, which was meant, which was like started off as like a pastime, as a joke, as a, as a pastime basically, just to pass some time. It's turned into something a bit bigger. Is Latoya taking it too far, basically? She mm. makes a joke, and when someone tells her to fuck off, she gets uh, offended. Why did you tell me to fuck off? And she's it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Off, though. The, the, the humor it's, of this joke not... was taking people's motions too far. And I'm yeah. a very, when it comes to these kind of arguments, I don't like arguments happening in a house. If it was real, then I respect that. I'm not joking. When if I argue with my sister, it's real. If yeah. you are arguing with Latoya, that's real. I would respect that. But then you're telling me it's a joke. I can't respect you for a joking yeah, about arguing because when I argue with people, it's real. So then explain to me your your joke. I don't understand your joke. Explain it to me. Then they laugh in my face when I ask for an explanation. Okay, that's for me, that's disrespectful. And whatever I can say, I don't know how to help it. So I feel like a shit, you know? Tuesday, dear 13, 12.42 a.m. Anthony and Callista are in the hot tub. What did I say? Oh, I could have stayed. Cool? Huh? Yeah. Do it together. Yeah. <laughs> one hour and 51 minutes ago, Victor became angry over a fake argument staged by Latoya and Jay. Jeremy, Amy, Amelia, Victor and Nathan are in the living area. I saw her guys, laughing, guys, Amelia. I Amelia, yo. Uh, fuck it, it happened. It happened. Like, it happened. Guys, you just have to move mm -hmm. forward. And it just annoys me because some forward, stupid, I was a practical joke that was, that was taken too far down. has now ruined the group's dynamic. So I said that. They said to me, what do you think is going to happen? I said, well, this is where groups are formed. And I'll be talking to my friends and they'll be talking to theirs. So I don't know what to do. Jeer is in the diary room. How are you feeling about the events of this evening? <sighs> It's been crazy shit, that's what it's been. Try and define crazy. Okay, I want to take this off now, because I want to be serious. Um, I think too many people read into things, and I think um, Victor's a total dickhead. We played a tiny prank okay so it did go on for a bit longer than expected but hey that's life right and and the fact that he he has the cheek to talk down to a woman that's just that's just wrong have some respect have some respect for yourself wow jay you say that the joke went too far mm -hmm. what do you mean by that it was just supposed to be like a really small argument and me and Toya did kind of fall a bit too deep into our characters but we just wanted to kind of 
lift everyone's spirits a bit with a little bit of acting, but obviously some people can't take a joke and people got hurt, people cried, emotions were thrown in and I guess that's just the way this thing works, but people just really surprised me. With hindsight, Jay, mm -hmm. would you say that your joke was funny? No. <laughs> Looking back, no. One or ear to ear, am. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. How are you, How are you, We just went on a date. We had a date, that was good, we had a nice time. Put your hands are warm. Oh, no, I've got the hand prints all over. Mine? Don't touch me, don't touch me. What was your song? One, two, three, four, four life is fucked up. Uh, One, two, three, four, I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, do you mind me? If I'll hand if you want. See, babe. The rest of the housemates are on the sofas. In the art world, mm. are you known? No, of course not. I'm a student. You're just like a student, aren't you? Yeah. But for like me, in the motor racing world, <laughs> I'm known. I'm me. I'm known. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if, if I make a dick out of myself, I come out of it with you, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you just go back and you're a student. If I, get, <laughs> if I get out, make a dick out of myself. Whole the motor racing industry would just be like, ha 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 ha. Any, any chance of a drive next year? For you? You must be joking, mate. You want on Big Brother. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's so fucking, it's gonna fucking right. ruin me. A potential politician. I'm fucked. Dressing up as a woman. I'm fucked. Callista and Anthony come to the diary room. Hello, Anthony. Hello, Callista. Hi. Hello, Big Brother. How are you? Yeah, very good. We went on a date and we requested some mood lighting and it didn't happen. What happened on your date? Oh, not much. We got disturbed by a few people. Mm. Um, we graffitied. Oh, maybe they hadn't noticed that. <laughs> Big Brother did notice your graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't involved in any of no. it, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I, that's news to me, so... If I, if I do find out or hear anything, I think then... we just had to... Express I'll... our undying amazingness for each other. Mm. Totally, what was it? Anthony, mm -hmm. as you are aware, the Big Brother house has many cameras. <laughs> oh, has it? Big Brother is aware that you did graffiti and that you do know about it. <laughs> Oh, the graffiti in the, in the, in the hot tub. <laughs> I'm right, I'm sorry, I thought you were, um, I thought you were talking about something else. Yeah. As Callister said, I had to, uh, Callister, <laughs> as Callister said, I had to, um, express, um, uh, our, totally um, so... amazingness to each yeah. other. It's just been a, such a hectic it's night, you know. It's been such a hectic Emotions night. Emotions flying brother. everywhere. We just we just needed to. We just need we needed a release. Out. We needed mm -hmm. like an, an an escape, and that was our escape. But we really apologise. We know that's against the rules. Now that that is understood, Callista. Yeah. How did your date with Anthony compare to other first dates you've had? Well, it was lovely. A lovely, charming gentleman. Well, thank you. Um, <laughs> it was just lovely. <laughs> We were more naked than I've been in any other first date, I have to say. Anthony. Mm-hmm. Big Brother understands if this is too embarrassing for you to answer. Will you be asking Callista out on a second date? I don't know. It has like I don't think the date has um has entirely finished yet. No, uh, we've still got to go. I haven't walked you to your doorstep yet, so no. I don't want to jinx anything. But so far, I was looking optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> Big Brother wishes you luck with any further dates oh, that you may you wish know. to thank go on. Thank you very on. much. Oh, thank you. We'll, um, yeah, we'll sure. let you know if we do. And next time, can we have some mood lighting and bubbles in the hot yeah. tub, please? To spice things. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only if next time you don't vandalise. <laughs> Wednesday, dear 14, 2.33 p.m. Today's celebrity hijacker is Keith Lemon. Businessman of the Year, 1993, and his friend Martin. Keith has gathered all the housemates in the living area and called Liam to the diary room. Whilst he goes to the diary room, I'll play a little tune. A 
I'm going to do your test, right? It's a business test. Okay. <clears throat> if you know so much about business, um, you must know a lot of things about um, the opposite of things. So here's some questions. What is the opposite of jeans? Trousers. No, it's cards. Is it? What is the opposite of sex? Excuse us. <laughs> um, celibacy. No, it's homework. Some people say it's bulls or bowling, but it's definitely homework. What is the opposite of soft? Hard. No, it's juicy. What is the opposite of man? Woman. Yes. Do you like men and women? Yeah, I do, yeah. Tell me about it. I, I don't believe that anyone's had an orgy in the world. I think it's just banter for telly. Have, have you honestly had an orgy? Yes. How many people were there? Do you mind me asking you this? No. What if your mum's watching? Oh, well... I'm she on... knows, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah. We're all adults. We all have orgies, don't we? Well, we don't, but you have. Four. You, there was four people? <clears throat> yes. Well, how many people does it make to sort of become an orgy? Oh, we're having an orgy now. Do you know? Is there any rules? You can make the rules. Really? I think so, yeah. So yeah, I could have an orgy with just one other person and say, this is an orgy, I'm telling you it is. Well, it, it, it's more than two people. Is it? I think so, yeah. So it's three? Well, that, that would be classed as a threesome. So it's four and then it's an orgy? I'd say so, yeah. Right, cool. Got that. You got that, Martin? Mm, yeah. 10.46pm. This evening's celebrity hijacker is Craig David. Each housemate has been issued with their own identical Craig David costume as part of the task. All of the housemates have been gathered on the sofas. Craig okay. David, David, here are the rules for the task and what the task is. <laughs> you have to stay as me. Craig David, that's it, I'm a father. <laughs> You've got to stay as me. You've got to talk like me. You've got to walk like me. And move your arms like me. Generally, just be me. Because, like I said, I've not been around for a while, so I just, I want to be all around. And the only way I can do this is to make 11 more of me. <laughs> Nathan! Yeah? Can you come to the dining room, please? All right. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Keep doing voice, that's very good. All I'll right. do it. Craig Nathan. Craig Nathan. What's up? I'm doing all right, Craig Nathan. Nathan Craig. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. Do good. you know why? Why? Because you look just like me. I love it. How do you think you'll cope with the challenge? Being an R&B sensation yourself? All that jazz doesn't really matter. Don't really matter. It's all about how you're going to get into the Craig David. Aye. Craig I... Nathan. Nathan Craig. Can I get a rewind? Yes, I can. Craig Nathan. Nathan Craig. Very good. Can I just ask you one question? Yeah. What, what would you do if you if you were me? To make, make it just all nice and warm, what would you do? In the house? In the house? J just generally in life, what do you think I should do? Keep making good music, because yeah. you're good at it. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. F thanks very much. I love it. You're an inspiration. To the nation. To the nation. Are we, we freestyling now? With a good vibration. With a good vibration. For a new generation. For a new generation. Mastic masturbation? Not like Liam. No, he's, he's been pulling one off, hasn't he? No comment. No, he wasn't coming. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling yourself? Do you feel, you, you know, do you feel like you want to... Have to look for it. Do you feel, oh, do you my accent. I mean, I mean, do you feel like you want to bash one off yourself? <laughs> no, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll wait keep it, till I'm You know at, what I mean? Yeah. Keep, keep your dignity. Yeah, I'll wait Hold till I'm at home. I, just, I, I didn't do it once for a year. Sing songs, that's all I do. But when I did do it, I nearly fainted. <laughs> OK. Craig Nathan. Nathan Craig. I'll let you go. Thank you. All the best. Bye. Ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> 1.15 a.m. It's been two hours and 57 minutes since Craig David's celebrity hijack ended. 
Anthony, Latoya and Jeer are in the living area. Yo, we got Jay Wilson in the house, y'all, tonight, guys. We got Jay Wilson, y'all. Yo, 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 yeah. Yo, let's, let's kick it up, let's kick it up. Amelia, Jeremy, Amy and Liam are in the bathroom. Are you worried about what your mother's going to think about you? About the home? Jerking off. Jerking off. Just don't put it so bluntly. Say it nicely, like, stroking the salami. <laughs> Bashing the bishop. I'm sorry, but if, my, if anyone gets annoyed with me from home about anything I've done, like, they've got to fucking come and do it themselves before they can Definitely. judge your behaviour. I was going to say, like, everyone's probably going to be worried about you flaring me all the time, but the, th the fact is, you can't help it. You know, locked in the house with me for two weeks, so... Aye! <laughs> so... Again. Victor comes to the diary room. How are you? I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit, like, not twitchy. Not, not be able, being able to perform. I'm nervous because I'm thinking also about getting back and when I get back and how I'm going to feel when I get my first show again and... You know, for me, two weeks is... I've never, I've never stopped working for two weeks in my life, really. It's um, incredibly, incredibly dangerous where I work. There's people sitting on tables around me about half a metre distance, and, I'm, and then my table goes up over them. So I'm skating on a table there, and they're just... Their heads are here, so they're looking up at me. So, like, if I don't do my... If I fall, I fell one time, and all I do is I just... I fall on... I can't do anything but fall onto the tables. And there's like knives and champagne bottles and glass and, champ you know, so you, so obviously I'm thinking about my show and I'm thinking about how am I going to get back, how am I going to, how am I going to get back and feel as comfortable as I did before I came here. I'm finding it hard to have a good time lately because of that. Of course, I, I'm, I'm very happy I'm here and I'm, I'm, and I'm also having, I'm having a good time, but I'm finding it harder to just let free and relax because I can't. And how are things going in the house at the moment? The point of friendship is very difficult for me to go further friends with Jay or Latoya after the, yesterday because they put me in a position where I didn't want to be. Obviously, I was reacted in a way I didn't want to react and I shouldn't have reacted in that way. That's very clear to me. But, you know, I'm a lot more wary of, of them now. And, I, I, and obviously, I don't get myself involved with any jokes of the house because of the way I feel at the moment. Thursday, day 15, 5.41pm. Yeah, I've got you now. Today's celebrity hijacker is Denise yeah. Van Outen. This week, Liam, Amelia, Victor and Jeremy face the public vote. Most of the housemates are at the sofas. Liam and Amelia are in the bathroom. I thought Victor would be the one that wants, wanted to go, but he, he, I can see he doesn't want to go. He's worried about going. Is he? Yeah. I never thought I'd be the one, like, can't take it anymore. Jeremy is in the diary room. Right, Jeremy, how are you feeling about tomorrow night? I feel fine about it, it's fine. I was up last week, so it's not really... But do you feel different from last week? Yeah, totally different from last week, because I didn't know sort of, like, what the deal was, how like, it all happened and that. Are you nervous? Um, I'm sure I will be tomorrow, but I'm not at the moment. Are you missing your friends? Yeah, I miss my friends and my family, yeah. And what about in the house? Who have you kind of connected with? Um, there's a few people I've really connected with. Probably, um, say, Victor, Amelia, Amy and Nathan I've sort of I've really connected with, I would say. And who would you be sad to see leave tomorrow? Um, I mean, I'd be sad to see any of the other three leave, but, I mean, probably particularly Victor or Amelia. And how do you think they will cope if they're separated? Oh, I don't think they'll be happy at all. I, I think if Victor left and Amelia didn't, I think she'd be affected worse. But yeah, of course, I'd, I'd, I'd help her out, yeah. Oh, I see a little glint in your eye. Uh, no! I can, no, I detect a glint. I'm very good at these things. No. You like her, don't you? No. Yes, you do. No. If we're, Victor goes, you will look after her and look out for her. Yeah, of course. She seems quite fragile to me. She's quite sensitive. She's like really easily irritated, so she gets like quite affected by stuff. Mm. But so yeah, and I know. I think in fact, she would be pretty upset. She might even walk. I would. Do you think so? Yeah, maybe there's a possibility. Yeah. Three twenty-seven a.m. 
It's been eight hours and 33 minutes since Denise Van Outen's hijack ended. All of the housemates are in the bedroom. Anthony has come to the diary room. I feel a bit weird at the minute. I feel... feel my head's all scrambled up. What has made you feel like this? So I've been like... Well, for a while I've been getting like, quite close to Callista and, um... She just kind of... kind of said that... I, she likes me. I, as in more than just a friend and... No, I don't know. I don't. I do like it, right? but I just I don't know if I like it. I just like like that. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But I think like she's a bit upset because of what I said. But I just I, I honestly thought that'd be better me telling her like how I feel straight away rather than than like upsetting her and or upsetting myself. Just basically, just, just basically saying. Um, I think basically as a tenor, I think it'd be best if we just like just chill out a bit and and just like just stay friends, basically, just stay, stay friends, basically, until until like we come out of here and stuff gets sorted out and people get spoken to and stuff. Friday, dear sixteen. 3.18 p.m. Eviction, dear. Amelia, Jeremy, Liam and Victor face the public vote. Some of the housemates are on the sofas. Oh, mate, I've had enough. If I stay in another week, I'll start to be a right bastard. I'll be sad to leave, but also it'd be nice to go back out into the real world. But I've had a really good time, so that's the reason that I'm not that bothered if I do go. I've been here for two weeks. I only miss out on a week. I've had a brilliant time, met loads oh of God, all you guys, so all the celebrities. Did some stuff I, didn't, I thought I'd never do, so... Yeah. Result in my book. Liam is in the diary room. How would you describe your mood today? I feel like um, I'm in a possible transitioning stage. And it's like an uncertainty. How would you feel if you were evicted? I don't think I'd be... Um, that upset. I, I think I was, I'd be more upset if it was last week because, you know, I think I've been in there for, for a long time. I'm proud of myself. I've learned so much about myself and about people. Um, I've kept my head screwed on most of the time. You know, I haven't went crazy too much. You know, I haven't said anything which I've regretted uh, or done anything which I've regretted. Um, I'd obviously like to stay in here to experience a full blast of this, of this place and see it through till the end, but that's not always going to happen. 1.43 a.m. It's been four hours and 54 minutes since Liam and Victor were evicted from the Big Brother house. Callista, Jeremy and Amy are at the smoking area. It is mad in here. Can you believe we're here? It's mad, isn't it? I thank God everyone in here is so fucking awesome. Yeah, it's good. It's a good, good group of people. Good group of people. Oh, you can be friends now. Jeremy, are you smoking? I did, yeah. I have one. Is it alright if I have one more and then I'm going to be a bed? Cheers. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to sleep before I start smoking 20. <laughs> I'll see you in the bedroom. Alright, nighty night. <laughs> Tomorrow, Charlie, or in the boudoir. Amelia has come to the diary room. I can't believe my brother's gone. I really can't. It's horrible. I didn't think I'd feel like this, but I really feel like something's missing from me. 
I have to find some inner strength because I haven't gone crazy. Everyone's going crazy. Everybody, even Jeremy today, he's smoking and he knows how I feel about smoke and cigarettes and alcohol and he still does it, you know. You know, my, my father, he died of cancer. So I'm, I'm so against cigarettes and, and he knows how I feel about it as well. He has to be ashamed of himself. Are you okay? I'm fine now. I feel better. Thank you. Are you pleased you're here? Yeah. I really wanted to leave, but now that I'm in, I'm just going to make the most of it because I'm in here for a reason and um, I'm going to try and do my best that I can. Starting over on Channel 4 now, the man who shocked America is doing what he does best. Shocking America in Borat's television programme. Here on E4, we go live to the house for Big Brother Celebrity Hijack.